this box is going all beyond the rabbit hole. I'm going to start on uh, drills and uh, grinders. Okay. I'm Ray Keeler. I'm the uh, president of the Central Arizona Grotto. It's the local chapter of the National Speleological Society. We're about cave exploration, conservation, science, and just a better understanding of the caves. Today we are doing uh, starting a three-day effort. Friday is set up. Saturday there'll be about 20 people here. Uh, all day cleaning tags and Sunday we'll work till noon and then bring all the equipment out of the cave. In we go, let's do it. The sign outside has four rules. No spray paint, pee before you go into the cave, have at least one light per person and then take your trash out with you. The second room was most, one of the most graffitied rooms in the entire cave. Reds, yellows, greens, blues, blacks, whites, names, symbols. This room here had another 30 to 40 tags on this wall and that wall. There are another 40 to 50 in that passage here. It's a crawl through. So with all the teams working, we just keep progressing into the cave. When we got here, there were five or six spray paint tags with lots of uh, colors. We've cleaned those off, 25 or 30 tags on this side that went clear in here, through, back into this passage, and then another 50 scratches along this wall. It was bad. And we've cleaned it all out. That was three people for three hours to do this. Somebody wants to leave their mark same as 40,000 years ago, only they have spray paint and stable lights. This is flat out unnecessary vandalism. The draw for me is, is the work. I do a lot of conservation work. This isn't the only cave I do. It's tough when you got to clean up on other people's stuff. It's bad enough to clean up our own stuff and we try to be very, very careful when we're caving so we don't leave even breadcrumbs on the ground. So then to have to do it for other people, you know, it's, it's tough, but uh, it's what we do because we want to keep our environment. I participate in this project because I think caves are one of the last places on earth that are really something special, really unexplored, something that most people never get a chance to see anything so out of the ordinary. And this cave, it's great because it's really accessible. A lot of people from Tucson, from all over the place can come here and really see what caving is all about. But unfortunately, you know, over the years, people have decided to vandalize it. We put in reflective arrows so you can see one to the next. And if you miss that one, we've got another one pointing to the right. So this one's pointing down underneath and that one's to the right. The idea is to make sure people can get out the easiest way of the cave. People were putting in arrows themselves. Some people marked their arrows going into the cave. We went this way. Instead, some people marked the arrows going the opposite direction. So sometimes the arrows are pointing in, some are pointing out. So now they're doing multiple tags, multiple arrows with different colors, so you have your own color. We've solved all that. We've made it easier. There's no need for it anymore. I'm from New York City, I live in Harlem. Um, I'm here with uh, some family friends. They took me to uh, the cave, and I guess is the word spelunking? Because we're, we're going around in the cave and we're just climbing all through and exploring everything. It's been completely amazing. I have never done anything like this before, and I had no idea what to expect. It's been a lot of fun. I really think like things like this, um, like volunteer work for like natural areas are just like phenomenal people um, and you know, someone's got to do it and it's, it's grueling work and it's, I, I respect people that, that uh, take their time to do that. 
we enjoy caves, so this is just our way of paying back to the community and to the Forest Service for allowing us the opportunity to go into the caves. Solvent drill, solvent drill, brush, 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 solvent, and we got it to a point where it's you can mud it over, but. sweat you get dust everywhere and like or mud and just like you have good times and you have bad times but at the end you come out and you laugh and you just like this is what we did like we did this cavers we do this on our spare time we're all volunteers none of us get paid well, the reason we're doing this is because people go through the cave and they say somebody should take care of that graffiti somebody should do some that we decided we were going to be the somebody yeah,